guests. We always have special guests, right? I mean, everybody's up here is special. So uh, obviously you want to be our guest because you want to be special. Today, Sarah and I is going to swap seats. And I'm going to be the curtain opener. And Sarah is going to take the driver's seat as the conversation go on. <laughs> so, is that okay, Sarah? That's fine. Okay. All right. Um, so welcome, everyone. It's 501. And right on the dot, we were worried that the internet is not allowing us to get on because we have a little bit glitches right before 5 o'clock. But Everything's under control. And if you have not been to this platform, we welcome you and we uh, hope you stick around because um, we always find interesting topic and story to tell you and to share with you. And May is still on the month of courage and determination. And so today I will be starting off the show by introducing myself. My name is Lee Tran and um, the reason we have this show because we want to share our story and then eventually we share other people's story. So my background is from a, uh, a humble refugee um, background. I came to this country 40 years ago uh, by boat. And uh, I mean by boats, I mean like we just hop on the boat and just sail out to the ocean and didn't know where exactly we're gonna head to. And that could be a death sentence, uh, but back then we didn't care. Well, we care. <laughs> we didn't care that if, uh, if um, we got all those uh, dangers ahead of us, all we wanted was to have freedom. And that's what we um, courageously, my dad especially, took us out to the bondage. And um, eight months later, we survived and we got to America. And it's a story that uh, with a lot of ups and downs, with a lot of twists and turns, uh, 40 years later, I finally told the story in my, in my book, on my memoir, um, how we assimilated into the country, how did we lead ourselves out of poverty and, um, and be part of the American mainstream. So if you are interested in my story, uh, you're welcome to check out uh, my TEDx talk um, and the title of the TEDx call, I Did Not Miss the Boat. And I also have... Um, write the memoir. Uh, it was published last September. It's also called I Did Not Miss the Boats because I love the boats so much that I didn't want to miss any of them. But you can find the book on my website, leetran.com and um, also on Amazon and on Kindle's ebook. The, um, the caveat is now I am a speaker also. So I love to broadcast that message of courage and determination even further by speaking to crowd and to the community, to uh, encouraging people to break their own silence and uh, tell their history and reconnecting with their family. So with that, I am gonna pass the mic over to my co-host, Sarah Im. Yes, thank you, Lee. It was, uh, it was nice to, uh to be here with you and co-host this awesome show that we have a chance to talk to so many wonderful people, not only about us, it's, it's about all of us together, we share our story. So my story is somewhat similar to Lee, except that I didn't get on the boat. I will be seasick to death. <laughs> <laughs> I escaped courageously through the jungle. How dangerous. I have no idea. But later on, I found out there are a lot of landmines in the jungle that I was crossing. But make the long story short, um, my, my struggle was during the Khmer Rouge communists when they took over our country. And they basically destroyed the country and destroyed all our life and I struggled and and then finally I just had to escape so that's why I'm here so grateful that God protected me and many of us that um, get to be free so freedom make us 
you know, allow us to do amazing things. So that today we will talk about the courage that all of us adopt in our life. And it made a, it make a lot of difference. So that's my story. And I put my journey in the book. It's called How I Survived the Killing Fields. You can find it on my website, sarahm.com. And like Lee, I also a speaker. I will um, share my story, share my uh, inspiration with people so that you, you should not give up hope. No matter how bad things are, you always keep your hope alive. So um, that's about me. And I am so happy to introduce you to my friend, um, Janice. Janice Moranian. She's one of us. She grew up in Venezuela. Yay. Yay. <laughs> and Yanis, I, I just want to share with you a little bit briefly. This uh, this young woman, she looked young, but she, her experience, you know, it's it's impactful. So um, I am impressed with her experience. So uh, Yanis uh, from Venezuela, and currently she lives in Tampa Bay. Hey, Tampa Bay. <laughs> 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 she has a, ba a bachelor degree in communication with a concentration in advertising and public relations. She is a bilingual social media professional. Prior to becoming an entrepreneur for 15 years, she worked for prestigious communication companies such as Tampa Bay Times and Central Tampa newspaper as a bilingual digital producer, web, website editor, and so on and so forth. So she worked for uh, several more prestigious company. So um, she's also worked for um, Media General, right? That's yeah. us. Yeah, Media and also as a digital advertising coordinator. And Media General is the Tampa Bay Tribune newspaper. So um, I'm just, uh, just to point, to pick out a few company that she had been working for. So um, pandemic give her an option to you don't have to be sorry for yourself. She did not feel sorry that those jobs had been eliminated. She used all the experience that she had learned and practiced to build her own company. Her own, she now become an entrepreneur the first time. <laughs> that is the, that's a courageous way to go. So we can't wait to hear, you know, how do you get started and how do you feel? Just tell us a little bit about your life uh, before you come. Yeah. yeah. Yes, Sarah, thank you so much. It's so, uh, I am so happy that you invite me and Lynn too, because uh, I was, I'm being creating this relationship with you and your group. Your, your other group too and it's fantastic and it's amazing because last year when I, I, before I go to the whole story last year was everything was referrals but this year was the networking and, and I, I want to do it in person but we know everybody knows why we, I couldn't do it and I say I need to find a solution and now I'm here after almost five in January like I decide and I'm meeting new people and I'm so happy for that. Um, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about me today and I'm basically I'm Janice like you say and, and I'm, I came to uh, the United States um, almost uh, 15 years ago or more <laughs> uh, now uh, when I decided to come I, I was I, I graduated with my science communication degree but it that moment that you're so young and you say what am I gonna do now with this right because you train train your brain but you need to start somewhere and as you say uh, I start working in the, in this different 
big companies and I was, I was very blessed to do it. And uh, in the way that I was uh, gaining all that experience, I always had that a little, that little um, light or in my brain, always that thought that I always want to do something by myself, but you know, when you have to pay bills and you have more responsibilities on the go, you put in that dream aside and you never bring it back until something big happened, like, you know, like a full load or just the position eliminated because of the whole uh, uh, harm, from, harm from last year. Uh, and, I, and that was the moment that I was like, okay, this is a new decade, it's 2020. And, and, and I'm gonna, it, that was in January. Like I was literally, I was like, okay, this is a new decade. My family was supporting my dreams. And they say, this is the moment you have to, you don't know, start thinking, but everything comes with a lawyer and accounting and billing and all these new things that you are used to leave to somebody else in different departments. Like you don't, you, you always say, if you need an IT person, you just send an email and that person handle that. You have a billing problem, you send it to human resources. And now, last year I realized that I have to do that by myself, you know? <laughs> yeah, and on top of that, you have to find the clients and you have all your sales department right there. I was used to handle approximately between 30 sales uh, uh, people, you know, in the, in, the, in the different companies that I work, there were like 10 uh, sales reps, uh, uh, 34, and I was so used to like, okay, to see what they're doing. And I always say, oh, that job is really hard. <laughs> and now I'm here <laughs> doing it, right? And, and, and it's very, very, um, uh, emotional for me because when when you have it as a dream and you see it now in papers and calling and one-to-ones and interviews it's just so amazing because it's something that you wanted but uh when you invite me you say Jenny talk a little bit of that experience it's not easy uh, fighting with all your 15 years in my case right or those years and now start again and that's when the whole uh, uh, feelings of like, should I continue looking for a job or should I just follow my dream? And that what happened last year on top of the whole sitting with lawyers and the accounting that I said before. And, and that was the moment that you realize this is serious, right? And, and it becomes real, real when you are talking with your first potential client and you don't have nothing, just your experience under your arm. And it's just like, you, I have my experience, but basically that person trusts what I was saying and what my mind was saying to her because I didn't have a client at all, you know? And I don't know if you want to ask me something at this point or I just continue talking. Because I, I, talk I think that. you are so brave oh. and so many of us have been in the same shoes. Yeah. We suddenly realize that we wear 17 hats. Yeah, you know the accounting head, the uh, bookkeeping head, the vendor, the seller, the, the service, the customers, like everything. I know this is what I love uh, when 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 I met Sarah in her group, and when I'm meeting all these beautiful women and men, because there's men in these groups too. Like I'm not alone, you know, because yeah. last year when I started, I was like just thinking how my billing, what, how the human resources was working, how the production was working, but everything was in my head. But now with everybody trusting in my work and bringing results, oh, that's the best gift. I know money is important, but for me, at this point of my life, is more like see somebody's calling me and say, oh, my, my video went viral, or oh, I, I have so many likes, or I have so many leads that I can't handle. That's my, that's my pay right there. It's so beautiful. But uh, I can go back to the last year when I was talking with the first um, client when I met her, and I, was, and I was like, 
I literally, I remember that I was praying to God and I said, God, just leave me in this conversation because I don't have a clue how am I going to start this? Uh, how am I going to say, it? what am I going to offer her? And everybody was asking me for packages and- Isn't it hard? Yeah, how am I going to- Isn't gonna it hard? Like, especially it? Like when people ask you how much you charge, it's like, I have not thought about that. <laughs> I mean, I mean, yeah, and, and I have all that passion that I wanted to give, but how am I going to put a package for everybody? Everybody have a different need. I ended to understand on the go how to treat every single business because I can, I can give a, a budget. It's not because it's more or it's less. It's not about the more or less. It's about different uh, needs. Like in your case, uh, Lynn, your kid, you can use Facebook, but maybe Sarah likes Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. And, and the other one just wanna, you know, uh, uh, gain more views in her in YouTube channel. And that's why I can be like, okay, this is gonna be the price, you know, because it's not that way. So tell and, us what is your, like, is your, is your company cater to all those social media needs? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm going to, uh, I'm going, to, I'm going okay. now, right? After I was sitting there with that girl and she's like, oh, well, this is, I, I need to uh, have a Facebook page, but I don't know what to do, how to start it. How, and I was like, I know how to do it. <laughs> I know how to do, to, um, uh, you know, you create your content or I create your content and I can help you to boost that. I can help you to grow and see, because you put so much, working to a content creating your pose or your video and 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 in the long way you just have what 10 views or 20 views and you're like wow i worked the whole maybe you can boost this one this yeah video here. yeah maybe, she you know? can do this this is her little assignment yeah that said yeah but it, it's it's just like that emotion like you put so much into the whole you know planning uh planning the strategy putting the content finding the right photo it, thinking the copywriting that's the 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 clue here in my business that people don't they don't have they say maybe i have the the inspiration to write but i don't have time i need to sell my product or my service and i need you to do that for me because Sometimes I, my mind is blank and I say, yeah, that's why, basically that's why they need um, create this relationship with everybody that I, now I don't call my clients, they're my friends now, because this is what I love about the difference with the big company and the small companies. Like you can call me, you can text me, you can yell at me, you can oh, yeah. say, you know, what are you doing with my money? You know, and it's like Be careful what you wish for. I I've know. Can call me at midnight or eleven because of life and death situation. Yeah, no, <laughs> believe me, I have those call. I'm probably like, a, like, and now I feel I know what the doctor feel when they call in and they text them probably. Enough. Yeah, but um, a long story short, uh, that that my agency is just uh, a, a focus focus in that, like creating pay advertising, like for the different channels. Mm -hmm. Like if you want to uh, grow your business in Facebook, you want to grow your business in Instagram or mm -hmm. your YouTube channel or Google advertising or LinkedIn okay. too. Okay. All different, depending, that's what I say, is depending on your needs, right? Ooh, a hot commodity for all the small businesses. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 a, it's a big challenge, but it's a niche, like I know that need uh, this um, um, expertise, if you want to call it that way, because like I always told with my future clients or the, the, the my friends are, that are with me now, that they you want to have a spot probably on TV, like your own commercial, right? You want to want you want to have your newspaper advertising, but your budget is so small because you are growing that you can afford that. And, you know, uh, with my experience, I can help you to grow because if you advertise in big uh uh, with a big budget and a big company, you're going to have a lot of customers, but your business is not going to be ready for that much customer probably, right? Mm -hmm. But if you um, invest, the way that you can generate that amount of traffic that you need to keep your business alive, you be, you're going to be happy because as a small entrepreneur, we are trying to grow that way. And after that, you know, you never know when you get a uh, uh, with that point that you're going to be a successful speaker and everybody's going to be booking you and you're going to have to, you know, 
um, do more advertising and brand awareness for your business. It's everything is like baby steps, mm. like baby steps that you can start right now. And I, you know, the the pages when they start growing, you know, you're gonna start needing, uh, you're gonna need more attention for them. And that's when I come to, you know, rescue if you wanna call it that way, because yeah. when you're gonna have. When you're going to, I have, I have one of my friends in New York that she generates so many leads that she's like, what am I going to do now? I have to work. I can't handle all those. Oh my God, leads. that's such a terrible problem. I yeah, that and that I, and I handle like that, that for her and I say, I create an Excel sheet for her and I say, okay, here is the potential clients that you can call and you can close your business and you can sell your product. And she was like, oh, you saved me like tons of time doing that you know like things like that and in the other in the other side is like creating content or the videos or the posts that people is like i don't know how to even put together a video or i don't know what to write and and i do that for them to make them feel like you know that the business is taken care of in that side when you are you know dedicating your time to to your business and, 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 and this transition from now is, uh, I can say that I survived the first year. <laughs> you survived the first year, sure. Yeah, yeah this is like a, a survival, yeah. yeah. Is, right? And I just do the part to me and, and, yeah. and, I, and I'm very excited because everything is about now as an entrepreneur, I understand, I understood that it's a habit. Like I have a specific routine before I start, like I pray. Important. And after that, that I pray, I send it to my loved one, the one that, you know, one day if I don't send that, that message to them, if it, because I'm not alive, you know, they're going to miss me because of that. And they love it. And I feel so blessed. And it's a prayer. It's a video prayer that I follow in, in YouTube. And after that, I do mindfulness. Mm -hmm. Mindfulness is helping me so much because as an entrepreneur, we have so much burning, you know, so much up and ups and down yeah. that we need to find that, you know, that balance in our life. And I think it, people can do it in the morning or can do it at night. But I find I found that um, that that helped me a lot to have a good beginning. Like Mondays, for example, they were like, oh, it's Monday. But now Mondays are no more like, ooh, Mondays for me are more like, yes, another week to to sex and have a lot of, you know, proposals and happiness. Mm -hmm. And I think it's because of the mind change that I've been doing and working. And believe it or not, when you train your mind, is is oh, yeah. unbelievable because when you oh, have it down, and you go back to your heart or your brain or whatever that that meditation is that mindfulness meditation you did that day it, you know it can you take you to your ground like you are you again you know mm -hmm. because this is about you you helping others but if you're not good you can help nobody right <laughs> that's one of the my routine and Absolutely. after that yeah, and after that, I take like between 30 to 45 minutes to learn new tools, new ways to learn something new in my business. For example, a lot of people are having problems with Facebook recently, like the review tab is disappearing or people that have problems because changing they changing every day. <laughs> yeah, because they can verify their page or how to help my entrepreneur people to grow their business or how can... I learned something new and I read a lot of books too. I love to read. And that's what I try to find that balance. And believe me, that between one hour and 30 minutes, I want to jump into my, you know, jump and work and work. But my brain say, you need to do this. And I slow down. And when I start, oh, it's so beautiful. That's one of the good things that I want to share since I started this, because before I was in, in the big companies, but I was eight to five, but no routine, just getting to work, work my eight hours, eat my lunch, rest my other 30 minutes, 24 and, hours. And that's <laughs> it, because, yeah, exactly, because you had so many. And it's gratifying knowing that you have a purpose. Yeah. yeah. So I want to ask you one question. Um, do you handle the technical part of the social media 
or you're handling the marketing part of the social media? I handle both. You do like, both. Like, yeah, like in the marketing way is like I create strategies. If you hire my service for one month that people normally to know each other and create that relationship they do, I create like a program for them and we go from that in the marketing side especially if it's a month that for example this month was mother's day what you wanna if you have any promotion or any specific uh, reason to run different campaigns okay. and in the technical side if you have any problem with facebook i contact them i make sure that they mm -hmm. fix your problem and and i try to do um as much of them um burning that way because yeah, yeah. I, uh, if you are an owner, you don't want to spend right. two hours oh, yeah. on Facebook to trying day. to fix your problem. I do that too. And okay. I've been doing it recently a lot because a lot of people are having a lot of problems because of the transition with their new system. Right. Yeah, but yeah, to answer your question, yeah, I do both depending Is on the case. Is there a specific niche that you're doing? Like, you know, all, let's yeah. say that all like... Um, yeah certain niche that you yeah, service in my you, case, it doesn't matter in, in my case because all the small businesses and the entrepreneurs are looking for the same results mm -hmm. any ref any referral that come from people that are like me trying to grow trying to invest but not having a big budget those are the people that I can work with because they're gonna see something with a lot of uh, gonna see right. quality with amount of money that they can afford and they can mm -hmm. get results. I always, be, I'm always very honest. Okay. Advertising is not because everybody's like, well, but how, how many things can I sell in a month? We're not selling. We are doing the marketing, brand awareness, and trying to, you know, make uh, that difference in social media when you are investing, if there's other speaker out there in your in your specialty, you know, like you're going to be yeah. competing with them or on top of them right. because you are investing. It's not like how many people are going to come in one week with my, with my campaign. It's the way I always explain this to, to them. Like when you're going to get married, you you don't propose to that girl right away. No, you date no, or that guy. <laughs> you fall, you ask you don't fall in love with that guy right away, right? <laughs> you have to cultivate that relationship. It's the same thing with the advertising. Mm -hmm. You cultivate that relationship, right? And during these six months, just for example, you you hire me for six months or one year or for the rest of your life, you are hook with me right yeah that that's the that's what people are when they're ready for you they're gonna come to you but you need to be there reminding them that you are there for them but how are you gonna do it with advertising and keep posting and keep doing i, I said the marketing is the dating part yeah the marketing is the dating part because yeah. you don't go in and tell ask somebody to to buy because that's like would you marry me right away <laughs> Exactly, but you can run, do that. run away real fast. <laughs> yeah, there's people that ask me, "Do you think I'm gonna sell?" I say, "I can guarantee you something for sure that I pray to, I pray really good when I'm that that campaign is live to make you bring you. You know, I wanna, I want that everybody comes to your ad, but I can't promise that. But the thing I can't is promise you, I'm gonna get to your target and I'm gonna right. get to the age and all the specific thing that we're gonna need to do to get to that niche. Yeah. But people being having so many, so but many people are being impatient, and sometimes yeah. uh, marketing yeah. and advertising. Um, yeah. But but this is the the part the good part of the educating too if you yeah. think it that way because uh, coming from this background I know even those big agency or those big clients investing a lot of money they still have their ups and down they're not yeah. selling all the time it's not it's not gonna be a difference with us mm -hmm. it's just we need it more than right. them yes because we need the money right away to pay our bills right. and you know we have all that pressure and they have all that budget for that right during the all those years that they've been successful companies but that doesn't mean that they sell you know every day either or at the same point that they just launch a campaign and that's the campaign that was perfect no they have to test 
And that's why I always say we need to test different videos, different posts, different message, you know, how to present right. it to, to your, the people that you want to get. Well, this is the problem that all small in, um, business people are encounter. Uh, social media is there to stay. And uh, it could be a great way of marketing without spending a whole lot of money uh, mm -hmm. unless you want to advertise. But you have to be very skillful, not gross people out in a sense that, you know, buy me, buy me, buy me. Yeah. <laughs> people are not going to want to to watch it. But it's, um, <laughs> it's a struggle. It's definitely a struggle. Yeah, it's more of like when you are doing the networking, you mm -hmm. go for the first time to that networking. I'm doing a lot of uh, online networking, right? Yeah. That doesn't mean that I'm going to go to that networking and that person no. is going to buy my service. Like I have people that, that they're calling me right now from March last year and they say, now I'm ready. Yeah, the I rule know is like I'm what, seven to from... 12 times. Yeah. Yeah, and now they say, uh, hey, did you remember with, you gave me your proposal like last year in March? Okay. And I said, yeah, because I'm very careful. I take right. control of that na uh, the names and everything. Yeah, I remember you, of course. Mm -hmm. And they say, yeah, I'm ready now. You mm -hmm. see? Yeah. And like like that happened with the pair of shoes. Seed. Yeah, and that happened with the pair of shoes that you love the most, that you go right. on your phone and you check and you're not ready to buy it right there but they're continue sending you that um, right. a, a post or that message that, okay, we're here when you're ready to buy that beautiful shoe, you, shoe that pair of shoes we're here for you and you go and you buy it. Yeah. But it is very courageous for you. Uh, Sometimes we we have courage, not because we wanted to, but because the circumstances make us to be courageous. And uh, like us refugee, we left our country, not because we're so brave, but because if we didn't do that, we wouldn't have a future. And the same thing with jump into business. We do it because we think in the long term and it's gonna come through a period that you're gonna be so discouraged because you work so hard and you don't see the result right away. But I wanna tell everybody that we all been through that. For a small business owner, we all been through those jumping hoops times uh, to get through where we are. So that's what the courageous part is. That's yeah. what we. Yeah, and 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 I love that you mentioned that because I remember last month, last year, it was one month that I couldn't generate none, like none. And I and those are the moments that you're like, okay, am I in the right path? or I just have to go back to work, you know, to the, my regular work, my regular work. And it was like that confusion is coming to your head a so one month bad. Is very, very uh, good. Yeah. I mean, yeah. there's people who couldn't get income for months and months yeah. and months. But remember, you never had that problem because when, well, well in yeah. my case, when I was working, I had my two paycheck, yeah. my I vacation, mm -hmm. and you my, I was educating my brain that, Okay, yeah. now you put your pants on because you decide to do this, right? And I have friends that are entrepreneurs and they have like four or four years ahead of me. Mm -hmm. And I remember one of my special friends and she said, listen, I already have five years in the, doing this. And guess what? I can tell you this is a year that I'm going, I'm, I'm feeling that I'm doing the right thing. You know, and yeah. just, just that's another advice that probably can pass because I learned it from her. It doesn't and mean that you is. start a business that you're going to have that that income all the time. Yeah. It's just like it takes time, relationship and love for what you do. Oh. And that's one of the things that when I send the question, I say, why do I love what I do for a living? Is because I can help people like you, mm -hmm. like Sarah to grow their business and that's my best pay. You know, that's my best moment. That's what I love and to I, do. I've learned the trick of staying uh, in a small business is make sure you build a pipeline that keep constant the, um, the leads because with small business, sometimes you can be like you feast or you're famine. Like you've got so much work you couldn't handle or then you just go run dry because it's summer, everybody's at the beach and nobody want to talk about business anymore. So. True. That's true. But the good thing about digital, at least in the field yeah. that I'm doing right now, right. it's just like people understood 
that this is a new family. This is yeah. a new way to do relationship because without internet, right. I never, I don't, I don't see I'll be here sitting with you with no. two beautiful ladies. No way. You, never. And I think that that gave the, that's giving you us the opportunity to even if we were thinking local to mm -hmm. think big because I yeah. have, you know, client in New York, in Miami. Yeah, you can help people from different. Australia, from yeah. New Zealand, yeah. New and anywhere. I, right? And I think it's, it's, a, it's a great opportunity for me to serve the way yeah. that I can serve with my agency. Awesome. Well, I think our time had run out and I'm I told you so I can do whatever. Thank you. I know. I know. We, we would love to chat even longer. Thank um, you. And we didn't even get much time to ask questions, but uh, that's very courageous of you to come up here and share with us your your new adventure. And we want to wish you the best of luck Thank and you. all you do. And uh, yeah, maybe we can collaborate, right, Sarah? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Help us you. promote this show. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. We Just actually want to do it for a cause. We want to do it for helping refugees. Uh, maybe for people who like you, like me, like Sarah, who are struggle with small businesses yeah. and um, have a platform for them to share their story. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much, Sarah, Lynn, uh, Lynn. And I really appreciate your time. And I know uh, this is a great, you. yeah, this is you. a great platform to share. Uh, and especially we are women and this is this, yeah. this one made me feel proud too like we are come back in a other. year and tell us how you do yeah oh yeah that's a good one yeah let's see yeah, so now you have a measuring stick right you know okay may 18 i talked to the thriving conversation next year my income Ooh. is like half a million dollars or something you can, you can share that with us of course i'll do i'll do <laughs> thank you so much that's great thank you so much for being on here um